Hi guys! Today I'd like to show you how to decorate a four strand braid using a chain. But in fact, instead of a chain, you could use a ribbon, a strand of your own hair, a tiny one, or a tiny braid. I will also show you two different versions of this hairstyle produced using pretty much the same technique. And since my own hair is too thin and too short for this kind of a braid, I start from attaching my glands and clipping hair extensions. And as always, I'm using dark and platinum blonde wefts to create an effect of highlights. Next, I grab my chain and I attach it on the other side of my head using either an elastic band or a couple of bobby pins. I bring all my hair to the side where I want to create my braid and pick three strands of hair next to my parting. I place the chain between strands 1 and 2 and start repeating the following steps. I bring strand 3 over strand 2 and under the chain. I bring strand 1 under strand 2 and over the chain. Then I add some loose hair to strand 3 and bring it over strand 2 and under the chain. I add some loose hair to strand 1 and bring it under strand 2 and over the chain. And then I simply keep on repeating the same steps till I incorporate all the hair into my braid. So strand 3 goes over strand 2 and under the chain. Strand 1 goes under strand 2 and over the chain. Now I simply keep on repeating the steps, making sure to add some loose hair to my outer strands before bringing them over or under the chain. You can see that the upper segments of my braids are very thin, since I'm using only my own hair, which is also very thin to create this braid, but I can change it. So I tug on the edges of the segments to make them appear wider and fuller. So that's the first version of this braid, achieved by placing the chain between strands 1 and 2 and starting to braid from the right. But we could also create a different looking braid by placing our chain between strands 2 and 3 and starting braiding from the left. So here I bring strand 1 over strand 2 and under the chain. Then I bring strand 3 under strand 2 and over the chain. And so on, adding some extra hair to the outer strands. So strand 1 goes over strand 2 and under the chain. Strand 3 goes under strand 2 and over the chain. As you can see, these kind of braids are always a kind of asymmetric. So on one side the hair kind of flows into the braid, it looks like French braid, while on the other side it looks more like a Dutch braid, with those segments that are sticking out. And in case of the first braid, these Dutch segments were facing outwards, while in case of this braid they're facing inwards. In case of this braid I will also need to tug on the upper segments to make them appear bigger. Let me know in the comments below this video which version do you prefer, the first one or the second one? If you try out this hairstyle, show me your results on Instagram. I thank you very much for watching and I see you in my next video. Bye!